Hey, this is David Hayter, and I'm here at Video Games Live at the San Diego Comic Con 2013. Awesome, it's so nice to meet you. So, nice um, meet you. so what is your involvement with Video Games Live? I hear you're hosting. Yeah, uh, well, I think I'm giving away some prizes and uh, doing doing a little appearance here. And you know, I've just I've been friends with uh, Tommy Tallarico for a long time, and um, I did. He had me open the show at the Hollywood Bowl, which was awesome. And uh, so, you know, he just called me up and asked me to come down, and here I am. Absolutely. How's your con been so far? I'm sure it's been really exciting. Yeah, very exciting. I just, I just directed my first film, Wolves, and we did uh, a panel yesterday where we did our first trailer reveal. So that was really, really cool and went beautifully, and the audience flipped out. And so uh, then we went to just a blinding series of parties, and, um, and, then, and then my memory gets a little hazy from there. <laughs> Understandable. So, speaking of movies, you've written uh, quite a few of some of my favorites, actually. Um, so, what can you t tell us about that? What, what your movie experience is, as opposed to your acting experience? Well, I, um, <laughs> you know, I always say that the uh, the job of being an actor is more fun than the job of being a writer or or. Uh, but 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 the career of being an actor is not as much fun as the career of being a writer. So I mean, at least for me. So you know, writing and and now directing hopefully are my jobs, and I love both of them. But acting is for fun. I mean, that's just it's just a pure joy, and I really you know I don't I don't do it for the money. I just there's not that much money in it, but I uh, uh, but I love it. So you know. So I hope you don't mind me talking about this, but the game industry suffered an incredibly huge heartbreak earlier this year with you departing from the role of Snake. How do you feel the next generation is going to receive Snake as slightly, uh, honestly, a different voice? Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, you know, look, uh, the games are so beautifully made and each one is so spectacular in its technological innovation that I, I think people will deal with it. I, I, I you know. I think it will be strange for people, and certainly be strange for me. Um, but fortunately, I won't be playing it. So, um, uh, but um, but I do. I'm a great admirer of Kiefer Sutherland. I, you know, I've met him. Super nice guy, and amazingly talented. And to be replaced by him is an honor in itself. So, uh, but I hope the gamers are uh, deal with it okay. You'll always be my sake. He'll be my substitute teacher. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate that. Great. So um, you've written a lot in, um, in in nerd culture movies more than anything else. Yes. I mean, you know, Watchmen's involved, X-Men's involved. And um, is that something we're going to continue seeing from you, is like you just continue being in nerd culture? Because we love you. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I, and I love the nerds back. It's I'm I'm one of them. I uh, Yeah, that's what I do. I love genre films. I love, you know, fantasy things, uh, sci-fi. Um, and you know, a lot of writers get, you know, typed as this or that or the rom-com guy or whatever. And I got typed as a comic book guy, which I just couldn't be more thrilled with. I mean, it's it's you know, these movies do well. People love them, and and I love to make them. So yeah, I will. I have a company, Dark Hero uh, Studios, and so that's all we do is just flat-out genre awesomeness. And let's talk about Wolves a little bit. Can you give us some insights on that? Yeah, well, Wolves is a is sort of an original action thriller take on the werewolf genre. You know, it's very different from anything that's come before. Uh, you know, it's also a pretty, pretty great character piece, I think. And uh, Jason Momoa, who who played Khal Drogo on Game of Thrones, is one of the leads, and he is amazing. Like he gives a performance like nobody nobody's ever seen what he's able to do. Uh, from from this perspective, he's funny and charming and frightening and awesome. So, and then yesterday at the panel, he he lifted me into the air like I weighed 40 pounds. Like he, rah, rah, and I was bouncing around. Uh, it's on my Twitter. You can see it. Uh, a David B. Hater. But um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's, it was just such a fun experience. It was amazing. Like it was bigger than I thought I would get for my first film, and and went so much better than I had any reason to deserve, so uh, it, was, it was a great experience. Second to last question, when can we expect to see Wolves? 
Well, uh, we're selling it in the U.S. right now, so I'm hoping the U.S. distributors will decide when it comes out. But I'm hoping, you know, by early next year uh, is, is when I'd like to see it come out. So, I mean, I want it out now, but well, uh, it's a process. So. And then finally, do you have a message for your fans to send out from Video Games Live tonight? Yes. Fans, I love you all. You couldn't be a nicer, more supportive group. And I've met many, many of you at the con, and it's always very, very heartwarming to to feel the love so from video games live this is david hater signing off